if you've been outside at all today, you know how oppressive this heat and humidity has been. I'm outside the City Hall Public Library. It's one of hundreds of places the city has mapped out to find relief. They're places advocates worry may not always be friendly to vulnerable populations. This library, for instance, is already closed. I've had people where they have been not necessarily had police arrest them, uh, but they've been chased out uh, of using things like a splash pad, uh, for example. Um, they didn't have any other options. The city's current heat relief strategy provides more than 500 spaces for cooling off, including libraries, civic centers, indoor and outdoor pools, splash pads and malls. Previously, when heat warnings were issued, a handful of temporary cooling centers were opened. Despite an increase in the number of cooling locations now, there is concern the city is sending unhoused people where they are not welcome. If you see a grown adult or an un unhoused person in a children's splash pad, that's going to set off alarm bells, so it's obviously not appropriate. Community and crisis worker Diana Chan McNally says the former cooling centers used to have snacks, drinks and access to health care. And she points out community centers and libraries are only open during their regular hours. What I've been arguing for is that we just have dedicated 24 seven space that's walk in access for anybody, regardless of what the weather is. An interactive map of all those cool spaces can be found on the city's website. So already there are barriers. Consider this. You'll need a device and Wi-Fi to access it. This is a giant vacuum of nothingness. Lorraine Lem is an outreach worker. Once you get onto this uh, website, you put in an address, and you can kind of put in an intersection or anything. Um, so this map allows you to say, you know, what if I need to fill up my water bottle and a drinking fountain? And you'll see that there really isn't anything in this neighborhood. Just looking at this map too, a lot of the locations are spread out. There seems to be a lot of gaps on the map itself. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, in the downtown core area, the closest around the Young and Dundas would be like the Eaton Center. And then there's a lot of nothing until they get up to the Bay and Bloor area. Um, so again, there's not enough resources across the city for people. The city did not make anyone available for an interview, but citing a struggling shelter system said in the statement, urgent support is needed from the provincial and federal governments to help address the complex elements of homelessness in Toronto. We are actively turning away over 200 people a day from the shelter system. So we're in a crisis right now and anyone who is walking around the city of Toronto can see that. Now, as this heat warning continues, the city is keeping seven of its pools open until 1145 tonight. You can see them listed here on your screen, but if you're curious about which one is closest to you, you can find that at toronto.ca slash swim. Now, this hot weather comes on the heels of wildfire smoke that last week saw Toronto top a list of world cities with the worst air quality, dealing a dangerous one-two punch to those without shelter.